seconds. Miss Jackie, we're ready whenever you are. <clears throat> okay. Let's all say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the church universal, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dear Lord, Thank you for giving us a heavenly family through Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving us a church family. Whenever we think we are alone, please remind us that you promised you would never leave or abandon us. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Today's lesson, Hagar and Ishmael, not forgotten. The lesson scripture is from Genesis chapter 21, verses 8 through 21. The focus scripture is Genesis chapter 21, verses 8 through 20. The key verse together, and God heard the voice of the Lord, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, what troubles you, Hagar? Do not be afraid. For God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Come, lift up the boy and hold him fast with your hand. For I will make a great nation of him. Genesis 21, verses 17 through 18, New Revised Standard Version. The child grew and was weaned. And Abraham made a great feast on the day that Isaac was weaned. But Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had bore to Abraham, playing with her son Isaac. So she said to Abraham, cast out this slave woman with her son. For the son of this slave woman shall not inherit along with my son, Isaac. The matter was very distressing to Abraham on account of his son. 
But God said to Abraham, do not be distressed because of the boy and because of your slave woman. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you. For it is through Isaac that offspring shall be named for you. As for the son of the slave woman, I will make a nation of him also, because he is your offspring. So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder along with the child and sent away. And she departed and wandered about in the wilderness of Beersheba. When the water in the skin was gone, she cast the child under one of the bushes. Then she went and sat opposite him a good way off, about the distance of a bow shot. For she said, do not let me look on the death of the child. And as she sat opposite him, she lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the boy. And the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, what troubles you, Hagar? Do not be afraid, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Come up, come lift up the boy and hold him fast with your hand, for I will make a great nation of him. Then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. She went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. 20 together. God was with the boy and he grew up. He lived in the wilderness and became an expert with the bow. Hear what Christ our Savior said. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, good lesson today. A lot of comforting words that that it seems like sometimes we might be forgotten. But as our lesson will point out today, God keeps His promises. Brother Wade, would you open us up with a prayer? Yes. Let us go humbly but boldly before his righteous and mighty throne. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, dear Lord, for who you are, dear Lord. We just want to bless your name, dear Lord. We just want to bless your name, dear Lord. Thank you for loving us first, dear Lord. Thank you for not forgetting about us, dear Lord. Dear Lord, thank you for always coming to see about us, dear Lord. Thank you for blessing us, dear Lord, when we don't uh, even deserve that blessing, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we just want to continually, dear Lord, have praises in our mouth, dear Lord, for you, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we want to thank you, dear Lord, right now, dear Lord, because we have activities in our limbs, dear Lord, we're clothed and we're in our right mind, dear Lord. Dear Lord, because some did not uh, wake up this morning, dear Lord. Dear Lord, but you kept us in the land of the living, dear Lord. We just want to say thank you, dear Lord. Dear Lord, because you have something for us to do, dear Lord. So, dear Lord, let us continue, dear Lord, to be busy about our Father's business, dear Lord, and let us not get weary and well-doing, dear Lord, because we shall reap in due season if we faint not, dear Lord. So thank you, dear Lord. Dear Lord, bless, dear Lord, the shepherd of this church, dear Lord. We pray, dear Lord, that you would strengthen his hand and everything that he does, dear Lord. And dear Lord, let him do it, dear Lord, for the uh, greater glory of you, dear Lord. 
Dear Lord, yeah. bless the members, dear Lord, every member on the roster from the oldest to the youngest, dear Lord. Bless them in their circumstance and their situation, dear Lord. Bless them in, dear Lord, in their, uh, and give them a double portion of you, dear Lord. Bless them, dear Lord, with uh, 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 prosperity in you, dear Lord, and jobs, dear Lord, health, dear Lord, faith, dear Lord. Bless in all areas that need to be blessed, dear Lord. Dear Lord, bless, dear Lord, and heal, dear Lord, of Parkinson's, dear Lord, of COVID, dear Lord, cancer, mm -hmm. dear Lord, uh, uh, dementia, dear Lord, and all other diverse diseases, dear Lord. Mm -hmm. And dear Lord, help them bless, dear Lord, and mental health, dear Lord. Dear Lord, because uh, uh, some people, dear Lord, have good health, dear Lord, but they don't have good mental health, dear Lord. So dear Lord, just uh, raise them up off their bed of affliction, dear Lord. Strengthen them, dear Lord. And dear Lord, strengthen caregivers, dear Lord. Oh, dear mm -hmm. Lord, it's hard for caregivers, dear Lord, and uh, sometimes they're underappreciated, dear Lord. But dear Lord, you set high and you, uh, dear Lord, look low mm -hmm. and you see all, dear Lord. So thank you, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we pray that you will bless the Sunday school teacher, dear Lord, and, and bless, dear Lord, those all that attend, dear Lord. Dear Lord, open our hearts dear lord open our minds to receive your word dear lord and then dear lord after we receive your word dear lord let us uh take your word dear lord into a dying world dear lord so it shall not return void we thank you dear lord we thank you for what we're going to learn we thank you for what we're going to apply in life dear lord and we thank you dear lord for the souls that we're going to save and we ask this and all uh, and all other precious blessing in your precious son jesus name amen amen thank you brother way all right, Haggai and Ishmael, not forgotten. We're looking at Genesis 21 in today's lesson, verses 8 through 21. Okay, as we look at the background and reading through Genesis, we know that God promised that Abraham would become a great nation. And not only that, but his heir would come from his own body. Mm -hmm. So much time had passed and after living in Canaan for 10 years, uh, Sarah suggested that Abraham have a child by her Egyptian maidservant, Hagar. Okay, Abraham agreed to go along with Sarah's suggestion and Ishmael was born. Being uh, true to his word, God kept his promise and enabled Sarah to conceive a child in her old age. Today's lesson begins after Sarah laughed with amazement that she could give Abraham a son in his old age. All right, so our first set of scriptures start with a joyful time turned into a hurtful experience. It's something our writer of today's lesson said. And that comes from Genesis 21, 8 through 10. So I'm going to ask someone to please read those verses 8 through 10. The child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast on the day that Isaac was weaned. But Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had born to Abraham, playing with her son Isaac. So she said to Abraham, cast out this slave woman with her son, for the son of this slave woman shall not inherit along with my son, Isaac. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Jackie said, oh, oh, I can imagine Jackie as she was reading that. Yes. You know, especially you said with attitude in the opening, he will not share in the inheritance. I say that is Jackie spoken. <laughs> So much emphasis, but it, at any rate, yeah. we we learn from these scriptures that the child grew. That's the the, um, the child that God had blessed them with, and he was weaned, and that's when that baby no longer needs the mother's breast milk to sustain them. So uh, Abraham decided to have a a great feast to celebrate the weaning. Now. Some historical records say it, it takes it took several years to wean a child, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm sitting here counting on my fingers and I say it didn't take any of my children that long, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, but, but back then it was I, I don't guess they had Similac and, and other formulas. <laughs> they just uh, fed off the breast milk of the mother. Mm -hmm. So Abraham decided to have a great feast when that happened. Yeah. But as he was um, 
as, as um, they were being playful and joyful, we see how the atmosphere changed. Yes. Yeah. If you got a chance to read all of uh, Genesis 21, you'll see that it opened with a feast being held to celebrate, as we just said, the weaning of Isaac. But uh, the enjoyment soon was interrupted when Sarah observed Ishmael mocking his little, mocking his mm. little brother. Now the new revised uh, version said that he was playing with him. Mm -hmm. I like the, the King James version <laughs> better because it said mocking, mm -hmm. making fun of, because I can't see just playing with a child would, uh, draw so much concern from Sarah, right? But if you if you mocking her child, you know that that's a different story. Mm -hmm. And so after she noticed him mocking it, I, the scripture didn't say what he was saying, right. but just that he mocked, mm -hmm. and it was enough that uh, Sarah demanded that Abraham uh, cast out the bond woman and her son. Mm -hmm. And you know, and that's when Jackie say, for this son of this son of this bonds woman shall not be heir with my son. Mm -hmm. Wasn't having it. I don't know if he was, I, I, we just don't know. But he did cast him out, we're gonna learn later at her request. Mm -hmm. So Abraham had to deal with um, some emotions at that request. Jackie, go ahead and read verses 11 through 13. Okay. The matter was very distressing to Abraham on account of his son. But God said to Abraham, do not be distressed because of the boy and because of your slave woman. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you. For it is through Isaac that offspring shall be named for you. And uh, as the son of the slave woman, I will make a nation of him also, because he is your offspring. All so right. Abraham, oh, 13? Uh-huh. Okay. 13. Yes, okay. Oh, so you read not your book. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's Abraham's predicament. Mm -hmm. Either he was going to honor Sarah's request or allow increasing family dysfunction. Yeah. yeah. And our lesson tells that, that under those ancient customs, Sarah could banish Hagar. She was her handmaiden, mm -hmm. but only Abraham could expel Ishmael. Okay. So God reminded Abraham that though Ishmael would create a nation, Isaac, the promised son, would bring forth Israel, God's chosen people. And with this assurance, Abraham got up early the next morning and sent Hagar and Ishmael away. He gave them some bread and some water. Mm, mm, mm. But only one skin of water. And that's, you know, that's like, mm, yeah, I know. It's like he would have given each one one yeah. because they were going across the desert and they certainly couldn't survive because there are no trees, there's no water, there's nothing but the mm -hmm. same. That but was God. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So he's coming. To <laughs> so in our humanness, yeah. Um, why do you think Abraham was so distressed after Sarah say, you got to get rid of him? Now, I don't know if Sarah forgot. This was your idea. In your idea. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. But, that, and it, but this, this was his child. Yeah. So, and, yeah. And he probably had a, a fun relationship with Hagar. I mean, no. with, you okay. know, he was bonded to both of them. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, what else, but why, why do you think Abraham was so distressed after Sarah's request? Well, I have two things. <laughs> uh, one, uh, it might even turn to three, but uh, 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 what, uh, he, was, he was distressed because that was his child. No. Uh, Hagar, uh, uh, 
I, I, be, I believe, uh, I don't know, but I believe Hagar was probably, you know, after uh, she had, she had uh, uh, the master, because that was, that was her master. She had the mm -hmm. master's son. So she got more liberties before she was just a slave woman. She, she was, she was mm -hmm. hardly anybody, but now mm -hmm. she has his son. So now mm -hmm. she, you know, feels like she got a little position. So, you know, she back there walking, you know, back up, probably up a little higher, you know, mm -hmm. cutting her eye over at Sarah. So, hey, you can't have no baby. Look what right. I need. Mean. You know, and, and, and you know how women can be catty with one another. Yeah. So I believe that was happening. So she's mm -hmm. like, boy, my good idea turned out to be a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but Abraham was like, shoot, this worked out good for me. <laughs> you know, so he was he was okay with it, you know, yeah. but she didn't think this thing through. You know, right. so it's like, okay, but that's what happens when we try to get in front of God. Yeah. And, 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 and that thing that we think that, hmm, this is a good idea. God, take it too long. He don't know what I need. He don't know when I need it. So hmm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. So yeah. uh, so now Abraham's like, look, I got a connection. This is my son, mm -hmm. my son. And, 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 and Sarah's in her feelings now. Sarah's like, I don't care about him. I don't care about her. <laughs> They're mm -hmm. all in my face, in my face and eyes, laughing at me, doing things that's not right. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, well, you know what? We'll send them away and, and, and send them away. But then he, I believe Abraham uh, uh, consulted God and had a conversation with God because then God talked with Abraham. Yeah. And, and when God talked with Abraham, he said, do what Sarah said to do. Mm -hmm. And this was because when, when, I, when I heard Sister Jackie say well he only gave one skin and everything and then it was like well hold on let's go back god has a perfect plan no. and look at god's perfect plan okay. if, if they had a whole bunch of supplies and everything mm. they might would have been able to get to where they were going but god I, I believe god said look give them this small amount of supplies and now they're going to have to raise their voice to cry out to me and, if, and, and I don't want to get too far because because it starts getting yeah. good. As I, but, got but, an, I know because I got another question that's going to cover what you're saying right yeah. now. But I heard you say when the question was asked, why do you think Abraham was so distressed after Sarah's request? And I heard you say, because this was his child. Child, yeah. child that I worked hard for. Yeah. <laughs> I worked hard it took for. a long time to get him. Right, <laughs> right. He was in his nine. And, and he uh, was well, old. Wow, well, what the Bible say he was when he was born? 86. Well, 86 when Ishmael was born. So, mm. so that's 86 years. And, yeah. and, then, and, and then for everything else. But uh, I, I got to pull back. I got to pull back because okay, it's going to leave. Gonna, we, no, but you're you going to get a chance to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, when I thought about that too, and uh, I just said he loved Ishmael. Yeah, he loved him. You know, uh, yeah. he lived with uh, with them approximately mm -hmm. seventeen years. Yes. Okay, yes. that's yes. a long time. I I'm mm -hmm. sure he might have seen some of his features in that child. You know, mm -hmm. played with him, played little games with him. That that mm -hmm. was his child. So right. he he did live with them. Uh, as I said, Abraham was eighty six when Ishmael was born. Mm -hmm. Now, Abraham was 100 when Isaac was mm -hmm. born. So mm -hmm. that's a difference of 14 years. Right. You know? okay. And, um, Smells. you know, you add several weaning years to that, and then you come up with, because they say maybe three years to wean. So if it's a 14-year difference between the two brothers, mm -hmm. you know, that's, mm -hmm. it's so strange to me. We're talking about <laughs> brothers again today last week we talked about Cain and Abel yeah. you know and now today we're talking about Isaac and Ishmael they are brothers mm -hmm. you know so yeah a lot of a lot of things uh, uh he was distressed mm -hmm. to, that she would ask him to to send him away you mm -hmm. know but amazing God that we have and I did not mean to put that up yet but I'm gonna ask the question what did God say to Abraham to relieve his grief? God knew he was distressed. Yes. But he talked to him. Yes. What did he say to relieve that grief? Do not be distressed 
because the, of the boy, because of your slave woman. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you. Because mm -hmm. Isaac was the son that, like you said, is going to deliver Israel, but he's going to make a nation of Israel of uh, Ishmael. Mm -hmm. so, I will make a nation of him also because mm -hmm. he is your offspring. Mm -hmm. Ah, because of you, mm -hmm. I'm going to bless him too. Mm -hmm. Yes. And mm -hmm. as Jackie was saying, with the one skin, yeah. I, they couldn't see us in our humanness. We can't see the taken care of. Right. But after God spoke, and right. he said, you know, he, he can't make a nation of Ishmael if he didn't live. If, exactly. So, yeah. uh, when he cast him on out after God spoke to him, he knew that he would be taken care of, mm. you know. So, mm. and also Isaac was the promised seed or the son of right. promise, not Ishmael. Mm -hmm. When God reassured Abraham that he would bless Ishmael, I'm right. sure that relieved some of his grief. Mm -hmm. Because God said, I'm going to make a, a nation of him because of you, Abraham, because yeah. of you. So mm -hmm. that was some relief right there, you know, right. as to what God said to Abraham to relieve that grief. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you, to this part, Brother uh, Wade, do you have anything to add? Um. I, I think in this, I think we underappreciate uh, 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 the gravity of what uh, what Abraham was going through, you know. Uh, and, and I think I think yeah. we just go ahead and we brush over it, you yeah. know. And because when we start looking at, we pay more attention. Unfortunately, I believe we pay more attention to the women's feelings, you know, and things. But 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 you know, but men have feelings too, and, yeah. and we have to address that. And, and just just as we hear, you know, a woman's grief, a mother's grief. You yeah. know, a man's grief and a, and, and, and a father's grief is just as real. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't think we pay attention to that. And, and, and to say, if you would tell, if, if someone would say, uh, if someone would tell a mother to, to you know, to uh, uh, leave, you know, put out their child, you know, uh, you know, it seemed like you would have a you know, whole bunch of people would be like, oh, a, a true mother wouldn't do that. But it's the same thing as a true father. You know, mm -hmm. a true father, you can have some issues. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he did the right thing in consulting God. And it's like, mm -hmm. hey, look, I know what she's talking about, but she's coming from a place of in her feelings, you uh -huh. know, but for me a, a, as a dad, for me as a man, I, mm -hmm. I got to consult God because this thing don't feel right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. And mm -hmm. what I love about it, it just uh, reemphasized how much Abraham believed God. Yeah. yeah. God said, I'm going to take care of this boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not going to uh, be Isaac and Isaac purpose, but I'm going to take care of Ishmael. Mm -hmm. you know? And regardless of what we see them leave with, I'm going to handle it. And I love mm -hmm. your point, brother uh, uh, Wade, because oftentimes people see this story and they really the, all the everything goes to Hagar, you, uh, uh, an Egyptian woman that mm -hmm. Sarah sent her husband into yeah. you know, to conceive. And now she's going to want to kick out. So mm -hmm. women got their little backs reared up about this, but I love it when you say, well, men have feelings too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Abraham uh, has some <coughs> mm -hmm. So uh, God, God, I'm glad God um, did it that way. And I'm glad yeah. Abraham believed God, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. and, and that is how he was counted unto righteousness because he didn't just believe God one time, he believed God, you oh, know, oh, oh. and he followed through by that. Yeah. So we know that uh, from Galatians 4, Whoa. 28 through 29, Isaac is the son of promise. Ishmael was born after the flesh. Mm. Alex, I need you to read that verse. Can you see that verse at the bottom of the screen, you and I? Yes, Isaac, the son of promises. Ishmael, he is, mm -hmm. Israel born after the flesh. Mm -hmm. You are you and I, dear brothers, are the children that God promised, mm -hmm. just as Isaac was. And so we who are born of the Holy Spirit, or uh, pre the 
persecuted. Persecuted now by those who want us to keep the Jews' law, just mm -hmm. as Isaac, the child of promises, was executed by persecuted by Ishmael. Persecuted by Ishmael, the slave wife's son. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, that Paul had a, a, a message on that, and he used Isaac and Ishmael to explain to the Christians that we're, we're the children of the promise, like Isaac was. Mm -hmm. and, and these people that are fighting us and wanting us to do it their way, they, they were born after the flesh. Mm -hmm. So we're always looking for ways how the Old Testament ties in, and, and Paul mm -hmm. used that in Galatians to make that comparison. Mm -hmm. And now, and then I need you to read this next slide if you can see it, because I just think it's important for us to know about. And then can you see it? Uh, yes, ma'am. Let me put my glasses on. Ishmael is considered to be the father of, what's that, Abraham? Arab people. Arab. Arab people, the traditional enemies of the Jewish people. Muhammad, the founder of Islam, whose followers, let me bring this on. Was that whose followers form, okay. form Christianity's most difficult missionary problem? The end ones I can't see. Okay, okay, came from the line of Ishmael. Came from the line of Ishmael. Mm -hmm. Islam is the world's religious, is that religious? Yeah, religion. Religious, which is probably the closest to Christianity. Mm -hmm. It is the hardest religion to penetrate with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Both the Jews and the Arab claim to be descendants of Abraham. Yeah. And the ongoing conflict in the Middle East today originate from the competing claims made by these descendants of Abraham. Okay. Isn't that something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Never stop. It, you see, it, it, they are always fighting over in yeah. the Middle East. Yes. Over this you know, Ishmael is considered the father of the Arabs. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and traditionally, these were the enemies of the Jews. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to Orlando once to the Quadrinium, and the guy that drove us in the bus mm -hmm. was from that part of the country. And he says, they're always laughing when people talk about who won the war. He says, uh, these people love to fight. Yes. And, you know, they're going to always fight. And you mm -hmm. think you've defeated them. They'll go up in a cave, recoup, mm -hmm. and they're going to come back and fight you some more. And mm -hmm. these, are, these are Ishmael's children. Right. And, um, that's why it says um, the followers, Christianity's most difficult problem is, mm -hmm. is with these people. Mm -hmm. It came from the line of Ishmael. Right. Because it's the closest to Christianity, but it's the hardest to penetrate with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because both of them, the Jews and the Arabs, claim to be descendants of Abraham. Right. You know, they even right. said that um, it was Ishmael that Abraham took to the mountain, not Isaac. You know, that's oh. if you read the Koran and, mm -hmm. uh, and their documentations. That's what they believe. You know, so it's ongoing conflict in the Middle East today. And I think the Bible described and said Ishmael was going to be like a wild man. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. For his mm -hmm. children, like wild children, mm -hmm. they, they right. always fight and they want to fight. And they're going to fight Christians because yeah. there's a conflict True. between them. You know, one saying, no, Abraham is our father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's that is um, a conflict and it came from someone born of the flesh wow but you know brother uh wade alluded to it earlier sometimes we don't want to wait on god we're going to do it our way we're going to figure it out ourselves and and these are the results abraham had dysfunction in the family mm -hmm. ishmael teasing um teasing Isaac and even before that um 
Hagar ran off one time because when she uh, conceived the child and she she just decided despising Sarah. Mm. And so Isaac told her he could she she could deal with her way she wanted to, and she dealt harshly with Hagar. Mm. You know, Hagar said, "Let me get away from here." Mm -hmm. But the angel of the Lord appeared to her, and she returned. Mm -hmm. You know, so they've been they've been fighting and dysfunctional ever since this. Wow! <laughs> wow. So that's that's that, that, mm. that, that, that's that's some of the stuff that come out of doing it your mm -hmm. way. Yes. Now, both of them are descendants of Abraham. It's just that one is uh, spiritual and one is of uh, the flesh. Yes, sir. And so uh, what, uh, what I'm thinking is, is that, that God knew this because I don't think he was in agreement with Sarah when, yes. when uh, she went to Abraham and asked her to leave. But he already had a plan in store. Uh huh. And so, you know, I'm listening to uh, what's going on, the fighting over there now between mm -hmm. you and the Israelites. Uh, yep. It's still a conflict, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. a conflict of sin versus righteousness. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or maybe I got it twisted. But, uh, the bottom line, you know, both claiming to be descendants, which they are not claiming they are descendants of yeah. Abraham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but they think that they, you know, they Muhammad is is the founder of Islam. That's mm -hmm. that's who they follow. Mm -hmm. and, and we follow Jesus Christ. Yeah. He's right. our savior. Mm -hmm. but they they believe that uh Muhammad, you know, is their savior. So it's some differences. They believe that Jesus was a prophet. That's they right. Believe. They treat him as a prophet. <laughs> but they don't believe him to be exactly. the Messiah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said the Islam is the world religion, which is probably the closest to Christianity. Mm -hmm. But it's very hard to penetrate the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, they will line you up over there. And I, you've seen it on the news in the yeah. past. And in the mall there, um, line people up. Are you followers of uh, Muhammad? Yeah. And if you said no, they just shot you dead. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So, and in their minds, they're doing the right thing. Right. <laughs> right. To mm. preserve what they believe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's, that's true. And now, uh, yeah, Brother Smith is always a, a conflict between uh, sin and 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 what's right mm -hmm. and, and evil. Whether you of the uh, Islamic faith or Christianity, that conflict between the the flesh mm -hmm. and the spirit is is always there. Always you wrong. know, when you would do right, <laughs> you, you you don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but thanks be to God. You know, and I think of this with Abraham and Sarah. Thanks be to God that he can look beyond our faults. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and still keep his promise. Yes, Lord. <laughs> if, if he yeah. said it, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, as Brother Wade say, we want to do it mm -hmm. our way. You know, and not wait on the promises of God. Yes, so many of us will not wait on the promises of God. Mm -hmm. And then we try to um, do it our way. Mm -hmm. So we get in trouble. And then mm -hmm. we find out in this lesson, sometimes that trouble lasts <laughs> like right. yeah. her, it lasts still, you know. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Abraham was grieved because um, Sarah asked him to get rid of the bondswoman and her child. Mm. And it's a funny thing. She's calling a bondswoman because the Bible really says, and it was clear to me this time and everything that I read, that Hagar was a wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. She was a wife of Abraham. In that culture back then, you could have more than one wife. Right. You know. Why well, they call it a bonds woman? Yeah, wasn't that de degrading? It's it's like degrading. Okay, it's like, like I don't say. accept 
I don't accept you as a real wife. And although what we said earlier, mm -hmm. she started it. Yes. yes she, she started did. it. You yeah. go back and read chapter 16 and 17 and see where right. she sent him mm -hmm. her in to wife for mm -hmm. Abraham to wife her. <laughs> but when she's disgusted with her, she go demote her and degrade her and say that bonds woman uh, mm -hmm. get her and her child out of here mm -hmm. <laughs> because she never respect me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Mr. Smith, mm -hmm. I, yes, think, I think she was, I think she was, she was hiding the fish grease. I think yeah. she was so mad that yeah. she didn't even want to say her name. You slave uh, yeah. woman. Yeah. Yeah. This woman. Yeah. You, yeah. you know she put some other name right. in there. Right. Oh, that yeah. in the Bible. But you already know what that was. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it's like you should have called me out of my name. Right. <laughs> she called her everything but a good person. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Damn, I called Mr. Smith out of his name. <laughs> I'm not, not, not cursing, but I might call him an African every now and then. I really think Sarah probably wanted to put some hands on her. Not holy hands on her. <laughs> <laughs> like for her. She wanted to lay some hands on her, but they weren't holy hands. They're, they're going to be some hard, hot hands. Yeah. You know, you know it's it's bad. Bad. But, but let's back up a little, a little bit, Sister Smith. You know yeah. it had to be a bad time for Abraham in all this. At first, Abraham was going around. It's like, hey, Abraham, go in there and uh, uh, so you can have a son. He walking around, chest all out like a rooster. <laughs> yeah. right? He like, boy, I don't mind if I do. Yeah. He giving a high five. He's going in there, oh, moonwalking. Good idea, wife. Good mm. idea. Then a little bit after. Well, he had some gray hair, bald yeah. patches, probably had some <laughs> shingles going on. Cause he's like, I'm worried. <laughs> he was about five pounds after all that weariness. Two women that are warring competing like that. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. that brother wasn't eating. That brother wasn't eating. He was not doing well. He was eating tums like they were Skittles. <laughs> you know what, brother? Wait, I love your poetic license. <laughs> 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 but we do get the point. <laughs> but you say, Lorna, you came on screen laughing. <laughs> yeah, yes. good to see you, though. Yes, sir, Brother Wade. And that's putting it in 2022 uh, language. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, everything that looks good, that you think is hmm. a good idea. A good idea, idea that somebody mm -hmm. has, should you incorporate or participate in? All right. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Something to think about. Very good. <laughs> so now we get to the part where Hagar and Ishmael is banished. Lauren, would you read verses 14 through 16 for us? Can you see that on the screen? I can. Okay. okay. So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, along with the child, and sent her away. She departed and wandered about in the wilderness of Beersheba. When the water in the skin was gone, she cast the child under one of the bushes. Then she went and sat down opposite of him a good way, a, a good way off, about the distance of a bow shot, for she said, do not let me look on the death of the child. And as she sat opposite him, she lifted up her voice and wept. Mm -hmm. mm, so what's going on here? You know, uh, God didn't talk to Abraham. He's assured him that uh, he's going to take care of mm -hmm. Ishmael. Mm -hmm. So they're not seeing that, though. Mm -hmm. Now, when they took the bread and the skin of water and when it was gone... She now this about she cast the child under one of the bushes. Now we just said previously in the desert. We just said it that it's been almost 17 years. Yes. And he's not a child. child. <laughs> Did anybody think of that? And I, when I was researching it, you know, one of the versions said that she cast the lad mm -hmm. under the bushes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's 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 when you translate lad, that's just a, that's just a, someone who's still considered a child, but not a baby. And mm -hmm. I, I suppose that 
in the past when I visualized that, I kind of thought of Moses put in the basket and laid, you know, as a child. But this boy was 17. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, then also I question because in being a, well, I know like coming from Jewish tradition, right. a child is grown or a man child at 12, yeah. 12, 12 yeah. years old. So he was a man at this mm -hmm. point. He had to learn and been brought up by his father on mm -hmm. how to hunt, how to provide what he's supposed to do for, because um, if his father Abraham, he was taught how to worship God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our God, but mm. you know that He was taught how to make offerings. Mm. He was He was learning these things. So yeah. when they say that you know He was put up under there, God honor. I think He honors people regardless of their 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 their, mm -hmm. their, their sins that they've made. If you turn your heart towards Him, He honors that. Mm -hmm. You could have been a devil worshiper, and you honored Him, turned your heart towards Him. Because if she was living in Abraham's house. He was teaching her, even though she was, she's in e of Egyptian heritage, yes. he was teaching her how to worship the true and living God. He was teaching her how to honor him and she, you know, and, and, and doing offerings. So mm -hmm. when she cried out, he honored that. Mm -hmm. But we, you know, we think, oh, she did all of this. She had this baby. Like we would say out of wedlock now. Mm -hmm. She did this, you know, and she's made these bad decisions. But we also have to look at sometimes your circumstances. Here she was a woman. She couldn't go get a job as a greeter at Walmart. Mm, yeah. you know, mm, mm. She couldn't go get a job at the temp service. Mm. So she stayed with the man who was providing. That was a big step for her to say, you know what? 17 years, I have enough of this. Watch this. I'm supposed to go. You know, and, and for her to be able to, him to say, take this water and this little piece of bread and y'all gone on about your business. I know she was fighting and screaming and cussing because she probably was like, you the one came to my room. I ain't get up and come to your house. You mm. and your little raggedy wife. You all just came <laughs> over here messing my life up. Yeah. And y'all want me to go? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. Watch what I'm going to do. <laughs> now, now, Laura, you, got, you, you consider in 2022. <laughs> no, women have not changed. Women wait, still want to say something. She... <laughs> A uh, a Haggai was a man was a man. Yes. She was a slave. But they made her a whole lot more than what she was brought on there to do. In that time, in that time, she bread was ain't rise up the way you thought. But you gonna put me out? I. I was over here minding my own business, taking a nap. Y'all done came up in my room. <laughs> That's our bright idea. I think Lauren going down a memory lane or something. <laughs> 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 put me out. Let me roll you back. Let me roll you back. <laughs> let, me, let me pull you on in, Lauren. I hear you, my sister. You and Carol wasn't bothering them. They came up in her room and well, said, we got a bright idea. <laughs> now y'all mad because it ain't worked out. Really? I'm the criminal, I'm the bad one. But you and your homeboy, your husband, was setting up over there thinking y'all didn't came up with a perfect scheme and it didn't tumble down like in wrong. Nah, I'm the oh, bad wow. person. I'm the foul guy. Y'all hey, oh, got to realize this is culture according to Lauren 101. I mean, she's she is fired up. Yeah. So we got to pull back and remember this ancient time that she was people having girl. babies and coming up with schemes still going on. These oh, times yeah, I don't doubt that things were going on today. <laughs> we got here when Abraham was <laughs> They they paperwork was a handshake. A handshake and a kiss in the hood <laughs> in his tent. <laughs> well, you know what? What? Get me mute, huh? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know what, Sister Smith? And, and, and to come yeah. back to what, what Sister Lauren was saying, and, 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 but uh, uh, Hagar was obedient because when you look back when, uh, uh, and, and, and she did hearken and listen to the word when God came and visited her. Mm -hmm. So, and then, but I look at it like this. Hagar was in the place so God could bless her. She was not out of place. Because when we get ourselves out of place, can God bless us? Yes. But will he bless us? For the most part, no. Because God wants us to be in the place of blessing. 
-hmm. So we have to be obedient to be in the place of blessing. Yeah. So she was obedient to God and she was obedient to Abraham. Maybe. So when Abraham said, hey, look, you, you guys got to go. I'm just going to give you this little skin. Might have been about 16, 20 ounces of water. And, and this little, maybe about two loaves, of, uh, well, two slices of bread. And said, you guys got to go. You got to go. Yeah. But then once again, she was obedient. So uh, yeah. uh, uh, we have to we have to look at that part. And, and so, now, you know. <laughs> we got to remember, Brother Wade, that I, we, I, we, we, this is not 2022. And I know right. you're not saying that. You, that's what Lauren was saying. And, no, and no, you, because wait, 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 Lauren, Lauren. If, if a woman back in that day, now listen to me, if a woman back in that day did not, even if she was getting messed over, he said she was in a place of obedience. With that scheme that his wife put on her, she didn't want that. We're not saying what the, she, her the, the issue is that she was her her maid servant. And the culture, the culture in that time, mm -hmm. whenever a wife was childless, a, a man could have another wife. And I want you and to I understand that, she, that. She I was agree. a wife. I agree. I didn't agree, disagree on that. I okay. agree. Okay. okay. <laughs> and, agree. But you're going what Brother Wade had explained earlier that we all tend to go to the woman's point of view and not the male and we do and when we've read this story we say what a shame how she gonna uh take her and send her in there to her husband mm -hmm. a sign of the time and culture and yeah. thank god the of the time time culture don't always mean right we got some signs and times and cultures right now we know are truly wrong okay you, I, I can, it can agree lead to the wrong outcome. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you're saying you're you're talking like she had a great big choice. <laughs> you it know, didn't. that's my point. Maybe I didn't make that. I okay. didn't display that right. She okay. did not have a choice. Okay. They came in and said, "This how it's gonna go down because you work for us." And okay. I was just saying that. Mm, okay, now it didn't work. Now you mad at me. That was my point. Oh, yeah. And that is the disposition of most women that read this passage. Mm -hmm. But as, God, as Brother Wade alluded to earlier, <laughs> it's all in God's plan. Mm -hmm. and, and, and although it seems rough and hard, he's going to get us to a place where he wants us to bless us. Mm -hmm. and, and that is going to happen. So, and so you can, so what, okay, so like what Wade was saying, you got to be obedient. But a lot of times we make bad choices and God blesses us to pull us through it. Yeah. It don't mean that we perfect. It oh. don't mean that we made all the right choices. It just means that he is merciful to get us to get us through it. To right. a place back to blessing. Yes, he does look beyond our faults. <laughs> and, and his promises that whatever God said, that's a promise. Mm -hmm. And it's going to happen. And That's sometimes right. we go through wilderness uh, situations to get to that promise, but we'll That's get right. to it. We'll get to it. Mm -hmm. And not saying we like it. My mama used to line us up periodically to take castor oil. Mm -hmm. We hated it. Okay. My mama said, this is good for you in the end and you're going to take it. And mm -hmm. we took it. We hated it. You know, and I probably thought like Lauren was saying, she my mama, but why she gonna make me taste something as nasty as this? Because mm -hmm. she felt like she knew the end and not yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. But anyway, they in the wilderness, they got their skin of water and some bread, and she puts them under the bushes and she stayed away from it because she didn't want to see him uh die. You know, just like any mother would not want to see right, right. their child die. But then we get to the deliverance of Hagar and Ishmael. Yes. And that's verses 17 through 21. Who can read that? Whoever can see that, please read that. I'll read it for you. 17 okay. through 21? Yes. Okay, right. 20. Okay. <clears throat> 21. 21. Okay. And God heard the voice of the boy. And the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, what troubles you, Hagar? Do not be afraid, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Come, lift up the boy and hold him fast with your hand, 
for I will make a great nation of him. Mm -hmm. Then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. She went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. Then God, excuse me, God was with the boy and he grew up. Mm -hmm. He lived in the wilderness and became an expert with the bow. Mm -hmm. He lived in the wilderness of, is that Paran? Mm -hmm. Paran, and his mother got a wife for him from the land of Egypt. Oh, oh. right. Mm -hmm. that, that wilderness experience being cast out of where you've been for 17 years, um, you know, felt bad, didn't feel good, mm -hmm. you know, but it happened. But God had already told Abraham that I'm going to take care of him. And, you know, he'll take care of Hagar too, because I'm going to make him a great nation. Mm -hmm. Now, he can't do that. He can't make him a great na nation if he thirsts to death. <laughs> Why? You know, but then God <laughs> opened up Hagar's eyes and she saw a well of water. That's God's provision. She was able to go over there and get the drink. And Hank, I came out pretty good in the end. Yeah, but she went back to what she knew. All she right. took her son back. Did y'all see that? She went back to Egypt. Yes, she did. And got him a wife who had yeah, not been taught about God. So mm -hmm. that's the disconnect. Yes. She went back to what she knew. That's right. And that is how, and I don't know if you were on when we did the little display on Ishmael you know, who was going to be a wild boy and still today mm -hmm. they're fighting. Mm -hmm. They went back to where they came from. <laughs> wow. Warriors. You know, warriors. Because so. it's, he was good with a bow. That means he was shooting arrows and he was good at it. So he was a warrior. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and she must have been in some authority that she was able to get a wife for him. So she, she went from slave girl that did what she was told to do and yes. produce a child, although she was considered a wife in that time. Mm -hmm. And after she did it, and we all looking as women saying, oh, that's not fair. You used me and now you kicking me out. But then Hagar do some stuff too. She got to looking at Sarah all crazy. Mm -hmm. and, and Sarah thought she had disrespected her. Right. Jesus. And Sarah said, I'm the queen of this house. <laughs> yeah. You know, you a servant. And so anyway. Either she a servant or she a wife. See, y'all keep going back and forth. Y'all say she was a wife, but you say she, she a servant. So it depends on how you the, feel. The Bible says both. That's confusion. Okay. <laughs> the Bible says both. What, what a wife can't be a bond servant? I bet it's a lot of wives feel that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think what we have to be considerate of once again, and we have to go back to uh, uh, that that uh, that time. And during that time, yes, uh, the, the the husband could have many wives, as as many as he could afford. Yeah, he could afford. And, yeah. and well, what happens also though is how does she get there? Because you can purchase slaves. You can right. purchase a, a bondswoman. You can purchase a slave boy. And then, uh, 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 but you have to realize also there was different classes. Just because you could be a wife, uh, you were Egyptian. And you got to remember Jewish and the uh, Jews and the Gentiles. I understand that. I understand so, so that, and, and there's sometimes is, is where people can see a little disconnect, but yeah. in, in, in the all culture. of it though, but in all of it, it was God's plan. So as much as we may not a like it or may not understand, it's still God's plan. And God's plan is in one word, perfect. Our plan is what wrong, raggedy, flawed, and full of holes. Yes. And that is a particular what we can uh, 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 ascribe to uh, Sarah and Abraham's plan to, to have a baby. Wrong, raggedy, flawed, full of holes. But look right. at God's plan in order to move His will forward. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. God's plan perfect. Man's plan sucks. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not going to disagree with you <laughs> on that. <laughs> I mean, he said, look, he, Wade just said the same thing I said. He mm -hmm. said that God's plan is perfect. I said, amen. Man's plan raggedy toe up. And I said, yeah. But I said another word. But it was, yeah. 
That's which is right. the same thing. It was amen. Yeah, God moves it along. Didn't mm-hmm. wait. Now you shake your head, but you can say amen. I just said the same thing. You said a different way. Just in the right, you just said it in the right way. In another way. If you can't say amen, you can't say amen. You can't say amen. Say I'm the man. It sounds very amen. close to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Say amen, Lana. Say amen, Lana. Are the youth here? Amen. Uh, Yes, ma'am, they are online. Uh, Thank you all for such colorful input. (laughs) Now, (laughs) I agree. The the Bible saying all you're getting, get understanding. Amen. And and if you lack wisdom, ask God. God. That's right. That's right. Uh, we don't understand everything, and the Bible tells us that that it's like looking through a glass foggy. But in the end, we'll see everything clear. Okay, mm-hmm. Sister Lampkins, can we have a view from the youth? Uh, yeah, the youth leader trying to get ready for church, and you guys are having good, a uh, colorful conversation. <laughs> but we have our young people here today: Diabra, Decorius, and Becca. Uh, and I'm going to let them come to you as they will. Mm-hmm. Uh, Diabra? Today's lesson was about how regardless of your own plan, that God has a separate one that's most likely better than yours. Mm-hmm. And it'll work out more than It'll work out way better than you thought it would. Okay, thank you. Uh, Decorious? Good morning. Good morning. In today's lesson, I learned about that, that we should have confidence in God because he hears us and he promises us and God provides for us. And he's and he'll stay with us. Okay. Thank you, Becca. Amen. Amen. I have anything to add? What did you say, Becca? I don't have anything to add. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, young people. Uh, We'll turn it back over to the colorful review from the adult class. <laughs> That's the pain. Good morning, everyone. I'm almost afraid to come online right now. Uh, I know it. I, I want to thank uh, all of you for your involvement and, quite frankly, for your excitement about the Word of God. Um, one thing that is certainly true, um, and, and I, I actually had this conversation with a guy I work with. Uh, I decided to get together to find out what really happened. Repeat that. It broke up, Pastor. Oh, I said, I'm excited to get to heaven to find out what really happened. Yes. <laughs> Sit down with Abraham and Hagar and go, yo, we've been teaching about it. You know, we had this Sunday school class on January 9th of 2022. And we was talking about, I'm like, Lorna, come here. Wait. Hey, come here. Okay. We go. What happened? Mm-hmm. And so, mm-hmm. and, and, and so there, you know, a, a lot of what we do, because we come at the, all of these things from our own perspective. Right. And so even, even when you say, hey, as a woman, of course, of course, you look at it from a woman's point of view. Why? Because you, you a woman. That, that's not bad. We just have to make sure that we allow for, because, and we also come at it not just as a woman, but as a woman with our own experiences. And so a lot of that, but what we want to make sure is we don't want to lose you know, the, the truth that God is trying to teach and really the lesson for the day was that, hey, you're not forgotten. Mm-hmm. And really, this is about all I'm going to go through because as Wade already knows, my sermon today is coming from this text. Oh. So I apologize. For all what if, we done already talked about it. We done already heard Wade and Lorna. We don't need to hear nothing from you, Pastor. You can go watch TD Jakes or, or anybody else today. But I will give my review at about 1145. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and we will, we will, we will go from there, but I do want to, I'll say it now, cause I'm going to say this again too, just like the, the, the title says, 
um, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what they've done, God does not forget them. That's right. And I need all of us to remember that fact. You don't listen to me. You don't hear anything else. You remember that fact. Yep. Moses, I mean, Moses, Abraham sent him away. Sarah sent him away. God didn't. Mm -hmm. And I need you to know that that is true, not just in Old Testament Genesis times, but that is true for you today. Right. Okay? All right. I'm done. I ain't saying nothing else until 1145. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Praise uh, God from whom all blessings flow. All amen. right. Amen. amen. Let's uh let's share together in the church school creed. <laughs> I believe, I believe my, my aim in church must grow grow and grow. And I'm a sign to make it so. Every Christian worker, every worker, every Christian praying, so that a world will not be ashamed, will not be ashamed. Jesus, we ask Jesus to be ashamed. Amen. 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 Stay wild for church, y'all. <laughs> this was a wild Sunday school, Pastor. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. This was a wild Sunday yes, school. This was yeah. wild. So we keep it with the thing. For the next 50 weeks, we in trouble. trouble. Yes, hey, Lorna, Lorna, <laughs> see you next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll see Wait. you at 11 15 y'all uh, okay bye-bye i just won't have three cups of coffee girl have any issue won't come wow come wow <laughs> all right y'all see y'all 11 15 all right bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. Hi, everybody Hi. Y'all coming out today, Brother Wade? Uh no. Um uh, we'll be on we'll be attending from old line. Okay. As long but as you're I, attending. <laughs> yes. Yes. You, uh, as Pastor said, you will hear from me again. Oh yes. Good. All right. <laughs> See y'all in a little bit, those who will be there. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay.